safe. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well. In this table over here, I have year in column B and inventory count in millions in column C. So I would like to add data bars uh, in this table. In order to do so, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select the table and then right over here I will click on this drop down under this conditional formatting now this data bar option over here gives me options to choose either gradient fill or solid fill so for example if I choose this gradient fill it looks like this over here or if I can uh, or also I can go ahead and choose the solid fill uh, it's very similar um, so let me go ahead and do the solid fill over here now you can see that our data bar has been filled um, in these in column C we can also remove these numbers over here from um, this column for that what we'll need to do is select the data in the table and then on data bars or actually under manage rules right over here at the bottom you will notice that there's a edit rule button over here I'll go ahead and click on this one and if I only select this if I check this box so data bar only and I'll click on OK. It will now show me only the data bar without the numbers. So if I go back and check mark or remove the check mark again, it will give me the numbers again. Also, uh, we can also check what if we have any negative numbers over here. Uh, if we go under manage rules edit rule you'll notice that positive values have this color over here we can also change the colors as we like if we choose this yellow color for positive we'll get yellow over here and I'll go ahead and change it back to orange and if we choose so actually we already have negative values as red over here so uh, what happens is if we have a negative value so right here if we have negative six then it will show as a uh, red color over here we can similarly change red into any other color we like um, so let me go ahead and change this to let's do purple now you'll notice that it changes to purple color so let me go ahead and remove these by undoing it um, also if we would like to change this uh, or remove the data bar so we can either clear rules or uh, clear you rules is kind of easier way we can also go ahead and um, click on the manage rules and then uh, since this is already selected I'll just go ahead and press minus over here and then it goes away uh, so the other way that uh, I just mentioned was to click clear rules clear rules from selected uh, cells it goes away after we so this is how you can create data bars, um, a very easy way to uh, uh, create data bars for your data. I uh, hope this video helps you all. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you all. Bye-bye.